<laughs> What's going on, guys? Waco from Revolution here with Nicolas Rudez and Jean Luc Glenat, two of the most important guys uh, here in Bellevue because they are driving forward the creativity of Frank Mueller in an exceptional way. Thank How you for you? your great enthusiasm. Great <laughs> to have you back Thank with you us, Wei, as always. Good to see you guys. And they're also my, my buddies as well. These guys are great. So Enjoy. talk to me about the new watches we're looking at here. Maybe we can start with the Grand Central Tourbillon you know, skeletonized because the skeletonization is spectacular because it's done on an axis, it's actually rounded. Correct, yes, this is a brand new skeleton version of the Grand Central Tourbillon. Making the Grand Central Tourbillon inside a Curvex watch is extremely complicated and difficult. And um, this is the first time that we have it in, uh, in the skeleton version. So everything has been redesigned to make it much more beautiful because of the skeleton with the open back, of course. And maybe, Jean-Louis, you want to add some yeah, yeah. details? Yeah, there is a big work on the bridges. We work on curves, with curves, to stay in the same language as the case. It's really cool. And to put a lot of relief, and to make, like, in suspension, the tourbillon in the center on the top. Yeah. Stunning. Well, I mean, that's the cool thing about it, is that these curved bridges all con congregate in the center, and they feel like they're surrounding this massive floating tourbillon. And that's the really cool thing about it. I think the best way to look at this watch is when you hold it up to the light, and you see all the negative space around there and it gives you this incredible dynamic contrast between the architecture of the movement and the space that fills the void in between. It was really cool. Um, and with a very strong detail to decoration inside. So how uh, has the Grand Central Tourbillon done for you guys? It's done uh, very well. Um, last year with the dial finish uh, was uh, a great success already. And uh, when people are discovering this uh, skeleton watch uh, this week, it's been very popular. Of course, it's available in uh, white gold, pink gold, and lots of uh, very fascinating colors. No, but uh, the watch so is doing cool, very man. well. It, it's great. You look at the center of the watch and you see the oscillating of the, uh, the balance wheel complemented by this, well, it's the second hand, but it's actually part of the cage of the tourbillon that's making this rotation. And then framed on the exterior, you've got the hour and minute hand. It's just so cool to look at. Thank you. And uh, talk to me about your partnership with Frank Mueller Asia Pacific. Those guys are great, aren't they? They're doing a fantastic yeah. job with us. Uh, they've been opening uh, a, a lot of uh, great new concept uh, stores, uh, right. as you know, in Kuala Lumpur, in uh, Singapore, in uh, Vietnam, Bangkok, and uh, in Australia coming soon. Fantastic, man. Okay, so let's talk about now maybe uh, uh, this watch is a double retrograde. Tell us about that. Yeah. Sintre Kerbex double retrograde. Okay, yeah. well, first of all, Frank Muller's uh, favorite uh, complication has yes. always been the tourbillon, of course, but also the retrograde. retrograde yeah. So we like to play with that. Yeah, and we try to stay close to the original one, and we push off many different color combinations of color. Well, it's really cool because it's effectively you have like a day-night indicator, right? Because you've got mm. two segments of the dial, the upper quadrant for day hours, so the lower <laughs> quadrant for night hours, and then it's only the hand either jumps on the top or on the bottom to tell you that period of time. Exactly. Yeah. And then it's complemented by central seconds, central minutes, uh, and everything emerging from the center gives you the opportunity to have this very nice sunray guilloche pattern that comes out that complements even the curvature of the beautiful case. The very classic Carvex case, original at Frank Miller. And let's talk a little bit about this watch right here. This is the retrograde uh, day-night indicator. So mm -hmm. you've got a single retrograde display complemented by a day-night. Uh, talk to me about this. Again, yeah, we try to, to keep our favorite complication and favorite from Frank. So retrograde is a beautiful um, complication for us. And we try also to stay close to the original with new colors. I gotta say, I like the colors a lot. Nice for summer also, it's really fresh feeling. Right? Yeah, absolutely. For me, perfect, because I have a turquoise Speedo. I can wear <laughs> this, you know, with my sunglasses. Maybe, you know, just I don't actually have a turquoise Speedo. And Jean-Luc, let me talk to you about this watch that's on my wrist, and we have a tray of them here as well. Um, what is this reference? It's a round reference, and a round shape here. And uh, the size is very important. We try to find the right size for the ladies, and the <coughs> diameter is 31. So you got a beautiful skeletonized movement here, uh, yeah. like nice round motifs. And uh, of course, a beautiful bezel with baguette, different Which colors. Which one's your favorite? Uh, I think the white. The white. You're a traditionalist. You're, yeah. you're a traditional gal, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the the rainbow is cool. Absolutely, and as you know, we've been very successful making um, all sorts of uh, shapes other than round, but yeah. we know that some people still like the round watch, Absolutely. and uh, having this uh, beautiful new skeleton size with wonderful baguettes, I think it's uh, very important as well. Now, as a surprise, we have an object that I am absolutely in love with. As you know, I'm a cigar smoker. Uh, not too often, just a small, responsible amount of cigars. 
uh, but I also love DuPont lighters, but I also love Frank Mueller, and all of Thank these uh, things that I love have converged into one series of extraordinary And effectively, we have the master of the lighters, you being do. DuPont, and the masters of complications at Frank Miller, joining forces to make this uh, unique uh, series of limited pieces. That is possibly the coolest thing I've ever seen. I really need this. A, a functional <laughs> skeleton Frank Muller watch on steroids with a beautiful hand-painted dial uh, in the front, the mechanical movement visible from the back, yeah. and Jean-Luc can tell you about the specific yeah. also complications. Also, we have some hands minutes in our own well, Hang on, so this is the movement of the back? Yes. And yeah. the, the hands are in the front. Yes. So how did you get the opinion of the... the yeah, the, the challenge was to pass through the gas tank. And ah, also so you have to make a, a like you have to a hole in the gas yeah, tank. Exactly. Oh, and also anticipate the dilatation of the gas tank. Yeah. It was a, our challenge. Technically, uh, it's a big, big challenge. And also so the sure. construction is close to a watch because we have two bezels to open mm -hmm. the, the lighter. I love it. And of course, we have the famous king of Esté Dupont. And the special flame for cigar. Um, jean luc question for you. So we to start with a time-only version on it, right? With the mechanical movement in the back. Would we be able to add um, complications as we progress? Can we do crazy <laughs> hours, for example? Right. For sure, you know. Right? We have this that will be our next step. Dude, that would be sick. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. more, maybe more. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you, thank you for coming pleasure. to Watchland. I'm going to take this with me just to test it. No, <laughs> make, I'll put it back. Nicola, Cheers. you're the best. Why, my pleasure. Thank you. Awesome. Asia-Pacific, Frank Mueller. We love you! Okay.